Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to generate design strips for a complex lab example in RAM Concept. In this particular video, we're going to take a closer look at our slab depression and some of the warnings that are produced in this particular area. Now to view the warnings, I'm going to go ahead and start by performing a calculation. And we're going to notice some analysis warnings are popping up. I'm just going to go ahead and proceed through them because I'll have a chance after the calculation is performed to review all of the warnings a little closer. So after a calculation is performed, the warning and errors dialog will appear over at the right hand side of your screen automatically. Any of these warnings, you can go ahead and double click on them. And what they'll do is they will navigate you to the appropriate layer and highlight the section that was giving the warning. Here I can see that in my longitude direction, I have a design span that's producing a warning. Here it's saying a cross section is very narrow and it will be merged with a center strip. So why are we getting this right here? Well, if we were to take a closer look, I can see that the middle strip on the left hand side of this design span is super narrow and it's letting me know that it's going to go ahead and merge it with a column strip. Now this type of warning in this particular area is basically just letting me know that the middle strip was narrow and it's being merged with the column strip. And that's exactly how I would design it if I were doing it by hand. So I'm gonna accept that warning and not adjust anything for that particular message. If, however, I see a warning like this, this is something I might wanna take a little extra look at. So here you can see it went ahead and highlighted the same design span. So this warning is happening at the same location. And it's letting me know that some of my sections have a very small shear core. Now, let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. To see the shear core, you can go ahead and see that in the cross-sectional perspective plan. And here you can see I have my longitudinal cross-sectional perspective plan already open. Now, the shear core is basically the area where all the shear is calculated to be running through. And any of the shaded area indicate your shear core in your perspective plan. Here I can see in the area of the slab depression, that warning makes sense that I have a very small shear core. And for this type of scenario, I do wanna go ahead and make some adjustments. Specifically, I wanna take a look at the trimming. So let me navigate back to the longitude design spans plan. I already have this design span selected and I'll go to selection properties. Here, I'm gonna to navigate to the column strip area and take a look at the cross-sectional trimming. Now, the majority of my traditionally reinforced elevated concrete slab used the trimming for set to none. This was appropriate for the majority of this particular slab. In this particular area, however, since I do have a slab depression, I'm getting a small shear core error. error. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this up to slab rectangle. I'm going to re-perform the calculation and then return to that cross-sectional perspective plan. I'm also going to check to see if that shear core warning reappears. Okay, let's take a closer look. I'm still getting the warning that a strip is very narrow, so it merged the middle strip with the column strip. I am okay with that. And the shear core warning has gone away. Now, if I return to the longitudinal cross-section plan, I can see that the shading and the shear cores have been adjusted per my requirements in the design span properties. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.